come from R. With the metal in the equatorial position. That means that I will delete this other component. Okay, when we have this, what we have to analyze is the trajectory of the nucleophile, in this case, the hydroxyl group. The hydroxyl group can attack position number one or position number two. And then what we will do is to analyze how is the transition state for both. If it's attacking here, what I will get attack number one or the carbon number one and if the attack is in the carbon number two what I will have We will have these two final compounds. If you see here, when I am attacking for the position number one, what I get is like a twisted boat. Sorry for my growling, but clearly it's not a chair transition state. When I am opening from this side, from the two, the final product looks like, this is a little bit exaggerated, but looks like more a chair transition state. That means, which will be more stable? The one that looks like a chair. Okay? Then the only that I need to do is to do the reaction in carbon number two. That means that the final product will be this final configuration. Okay? Thank you very much for your attention. Okay. These are the exercises for the chair transition state. And if you have any questions, send me email and I will try to explain everything. Okay? See you in the next lecture.